Our mission is to unite the Caribbean American community to quality television programs, internet, and other outlets. We focus on content to highlight the various cultural, historical, and linguistic aspects of the Caribbean American community. Working closely with entertainers, organizations, and businesses to educate and unify our communities. CFTV Globalize Networking Framework will provide the Caribbean American businesses with an affordable resource to establish their presence in Atlanta and surrounding communities. TGIF, yes, thank God it's Friday because I get to hang out with you wonderful viewers. I am your host, Debbie McDonald, and I have one of my favorite co-hosts, DJ Ezzy, what's going on, man? Hey, welcome back to the show. Of How course, I'm happy to be here again. Great. What Fantastic. About you? I am good. How was your week? Psst, long week. Yeah. Long week, but I tell you what, you're always what? looking nice. Of oh, course, thanks. I have to tell you. I have to tell you <laughs> today, right? You make make sure oh, we're all good. <laughs> I like that. I like that. But I'm noticing something with you too. You know, you're fixing up. See, you've got the dreadlocks all done up and gotta stuff. Look a, and gotta, <laughs> gotta look a little good for the people. We gotta represent the Caribbean oh, very well, all right? But anyways, uh, I'm, of course, I'm happy to be here on Friday. Great. Well, guys, it's time for some rest and relaxation right here with CFTV, mm -hmm. and uh, we are here to take you right around. Right here in our neighborhoods, right here, like, you know, within the states, in, in six, the Caribbean. In only, in only 60 minutes. Only 60 minutes we got, but <laughs> we'll try to bring you the best of what we have. We don't want you to miss a beat. So. Exactly. And once again, you, you are watching Caribbean Focus TV. That's right. And we are here right, same place. every week, exactly. same time, same, same place. place. Exactly. Now, don't forget, we would love to hear from you. Continue sending us your emails and all the comments and suggestions mm -hmm. at... Caribbean Focus, Focus TV, TV at, at gmail.com gmail right. and check us out on all our social networks and we are on Facebook mm -hmm. we're on Twitter MySpace you know all High of them five, so all of, oh. check it out check it out send yeah. a request and you know you can definitely keep updated with the show exactly you know, exactly but anyways of course you know is that this time of the night where we get started with the first segment of the show and but before we do we're gonna get into our first video we can take a trip down to where um, well, I want the viewers, you guys, relax a little bit, grab a drink, relax on your sofa, oh, very, no. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go down and uh, listen to that legendary band called Taboo, and uh, it's uh, they're actually oh, from the island of, of Haiti. Haiti. Exactly. Yeah, we love Haiti. So, um, it's Taboo Combo. Oh, yeah, Taboo Combo. Taboo Combo. My, my apologies uh -huh. there. But anyways, um, uh, that song is called uh, Rumba Liberté, so uh, we're going to take a look at that. Thank you so much again for joining us. Don't you go anywhere. Take a look at this video.
liberty. Hope you did you enjoy that video? You see, I mean, I'm, st I'm still dancing. <laughs> If you enjoyed that video and you would like to request one, you know, something special or you have something in mind that you would like to see right here on Focus TV, mm -hmm. please give us a call at 1-866-919-CFTV. That's right. Now, our first segment is focused on the event. So we're going to move it right along. And uh, we have an event that uh, took place at the, the Global Mall in, in Norcross. Right. And if you guessed it, if you was at, if, well, not, you, if well, you were at that show, exactly. Should I tell them? Or I just no, them you know, what, if you've never seen a live band play, just take a treat, relax. <laughs> don't touch that dial. Don't touch that. Don't touch dial. the dial. It's we'll nice. Right it's back. good. It's sweet. <laughs> take it. It's Caribbean Focus TV. Sound Explosion Entertainment is a professional DJ service serving Metro Atlanta and its surrounding areas. We provide the most reliable and dependable service at affordable prices. Our goal is to provide the best service that exceeds customer satisfaction. Visit our website at www.soundexplosionent.com. That's www.soundexplosionent.com. Or call us at 404 910 4589. That's 404 910 4589. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ronaldo from T Vice. Whenever I'm in Atlanta, you gotta focus on Caribbean Focus TV. That's the best TV. That's what I watch. So watch it. Peace. We are here with Caribbean Focus TV again, bringing you the hottest events in Atlanta that has to do anything with the Caribbean culture. Right now, we have T Vice, one of the members from T Vice. What's your name? 
I'm Ronaldo. Nice to meet you. Thank you for giving us an interview today. It's my pleasure. Nice meeting you too. So tell us, what is T-Vice all about? How did you guys get started? What made you do Compa Music? We started like 18 years ago. You know, my dad, you know, he's a musician. Um, we were raised in, in Compa. So um, it's, you know, in my blood, me and, and, and Roberto, he's, you know, the, the, the singer. We, we have a live CD that's going to coming out next, next month. Um, we have a lot of two coming up. Um, Zenith Paris coming up in June. Um, a lot of parties, you know, in Haiti actually, we have to go to Haiti because it's been like six months. We haven't been to Haiti because of the politics problem. So um, we're going to go next month, you know, trying to make peace with the people and, you know, um, play some music for them because right now it's, it's bad in Haiti. So that's, that's our like, project. So do you guys have any film projects going on, any theater in mind? Um, actually, James, James, he did a movie. Actually, he's filming a second movie. But um, but um, me, no, not me. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. And whenever you're Atlanta, in Atlanta, come check us out. No problem. Next time we come, we, we, we were here since 1 o'clock. So next time, you know, call us and we come by. All right, thank you. We are here at the Global Mall at the T-Vice concert. And we are about to talk to some fans of T-Vice to see how they enjoyed the show. What are your names, ladies? Hi, I'm Barbara. I'm Natasha. And I'm Nadine. Wow, nice to meet you, ladies. You are looking very beautiful tonight. So how did you guys enjoy the T-Vice concert? So far, it's been great. I really enjoyed it. I'm sweating up a storm. So, I haven't had a chance to get out and dance like I did tonight. So it was really, really, really having a good time. Yes, first time seeing T-Vice, I am having a ball. <laughs> Stay focused. Let me tell you this, uh, viewers, stay focused, okay? Caribbean Focus TV is the show to watch, is where you're going to get everything that's going on in our community, in the Caribbean community, okay? We serve everybody, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from in the Caribbean, that's what we're here for, and that's what we stand. We stand for the Caribbean here. So please, stay focused. Now, didn't we tell you that was an exciting event? And I'm so sorry if you've missed it, but I tell you, that was a great. SET Vice, they're, they're phenomenal. I tell you, I just love that group. I just love the way they sing. Yeah. I mean, the very last album was extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, I just love it. Trish. Fantastic. And so, viewers, because uh -huh. of that, if you know special talents or know something fantastic is coming up in your area, share it with us right here at CFTV by giving us a call or emailing us at caribbeanfocustv at gmail.com all right so let's take a well-deserved break with another music video from the island of anguilla mm. with the song give me more what give me more is give me more <laughs> give, give me give me give me give me more okay give me <laughs> by, more by dear saunders, saunders. All right. okay Stay don't tuned. you go anywhere guys we'll be right back all right Sound Explosion Entertainment is a professional DJ service serving Metro Atlanta and its surrounding areas. We provide the most reliable and dependable service at affordable prices. Our goal is to provide the best service that exceeds customer satisfaction. Visit our website at www.soundexplosionent.com. That's www.soundexplosionent.com. Or call us at 404 910 4589. That's 404 910 4589. Give me, give me, give me, give me, no,
your sexy body good Don't be shy, cause I'm coming at you real strong You got what I like, so let's get it on Your body's just turning me on Dale Saunders. But up next, we have Focus on the Arts. Mm -hmm. Today, CFTV has something special that we'd like to educate you on, or actually bring to you. And uh, that topic we're going to touch on is the carnival that well, we're going to have right here. I, I tell you what, I mean, uh, we received so many emails mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the Atlanta Carnival. And yes. since because we start talking about it, because it's coming up on Memorial Weekend. That's right. A lot of people, a lot of you guys didn't know that there's a, a carnival here in Atlanta. And not just carnival, carnival parade. You have the tots from three years exactly. old all the mm -hmm. way up. And uh, this all goes, goes down on Memorial, Memorial weekend. weekend. Exactly. On that, so, is it the Saturday, is it? Uh, whatever weekend. I'm not sure the dates yes. as yet. Yes, but it whenever it falls it, that weekend, right. it's happening. Friday, exactly. Saturday, whatever well, it is. Well, I mean, it's going to be a whole weekend of activities, as, as a matter of fact. So, you know, as Caribbean people, we celebrate like, Non-stop. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is a preview of what to expect this year. Um, again, we want you to write down in your calendars. It is this year, Memorial Weekend. We're going to bring the dates to you soon, um, but I want you to take a look of uh, what happened um, last May. And, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Inferno, a Trinidad band, just passed. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of the Caribbean Carnival, Caribbean Festival here, downtown Atlanta, 2010.
Wow. Well, I hope you had fun watching. Of course, I always have a fantastic time, whether it's at the carnival here with you guys, with uh, Ezzy. Let me ask you, did you see me in that clip from last year? I'm not going to see. I'm not pointing <laughs> out anyone. I'm not going to get anyone in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, hey, we have we have uh, we have someone we want to say a uh, special birthday greetings to uh, who, who is, is that? Uh, Who's our, celebrating? Ma our marketing director, who is uh, whose name is Marie J. Wingo. Oh, Marie! Okay. Happy her, birthday, Marie! Her, yes, her birthday was on the twenty sixth, which Fantastic. was just only two days ago. Mm -hmm. Marie, happy birthday! Happy Thank belated you. birthday, that is. Okay. Okay, but you know what? Somebody else is celebrating their birthday today. Uh, uh, you know what? This? this month is filled with fantastic, beautiful people. We started off with. Somebody I know, me, mm -hmm. and then we went to Octave, Octave and then right. we had Marie and guess who? My beloved Rose. She brings us that fantastic segment. Go Rose, on your it's your birthday. So Rose, <laughs> we wish you from the bottom of our hearts a happy, happy birthday. Yes, yes, guys. So today is Rose's birthday. So Rose, I know you're gonna have a great time this evening. Rose, so. one drink. Happy for you. birthday. <laughs> That's water. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in exactly. with us. For those of you who are just joining us, you are looking at Caribbean Focus TV right, right here. We don't want you to miss a beat. Uh, give them the uh, and, website. And don't forget, please call it. Uh, visit our website at CaribbeanFocusTV.com. Right. Of course, and if, if you have anything that you want to share with us, give us a call at one eight six six. 919 CFTV. CFTV. All right. Fantastic. So we're going to continue with what? The carnival? Uh, yeah, I vibes? think we should keep on that theme. You know, let's get people all That's excited right. and ready to party. And, exactly. You know, well, I'll tell in you what, mood. we're going to go quench our thirst uh, to the island of the Bahamas with oh, the I thought you were going to say we're going to go quench our thirst with a little something. We keep drinking. We, we drink okay, it. fine. Let's we, go we to gonna, the Bahamas. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> let's get intoxicated. In the island of Bahamas with, with the artist called Modine. All right? <laughs> well, you know what's funny? The Wait. name of that song is called Intoxicated. Well, we get, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get intoxicated. That's what and I'm I saying. And I promise it is water I'm drinking. You get intoxicated by Don't water? Don't you go anywhere, guys. <laughs> we'll be right back. Enjoy. <laughs>
it's another video. That's right. And I think it's time for us to dance the little Spanish rhythm here. We're going to take it down to the island of the Dominican Republic. And we're going to look at this artist called Cara. And the song is Dios te dice. We'll be right back. Enjoy this video. Don't you go anywhere. You are looking at Caribbean Focus TV. <laughs> tormenta y rompe los bordes de tu corazón cuando ya no hay sentido se acaba el camino y no hay razón cuando ya no tienes fuerzas se cierran las puertas se acaba el amor cuando ya no hay sentido no tienes motivo para proseguir Dios te dice no desmayes Te lo dice al corazón Él te dice eres mi hijo Te daré las fuerzas, poder y valor Dios te dice yo te guardo De victoria te dará salida, quitar el dolor, quitar el dolor. Y cuando andas sin rumbo y pierdas la vista y el propósito. Sientas que no tienes fuerzas para batallar con ese dolor Cuando ya no tengas fuerzas, se cierran las puertas, se acaba el amor Cuando ya no hay sentido y no tienes motivo para proseguir Dios te dice, no desmayes, te lo dice el corazón, Él te dice, eres mi hijo, te daré las fuerzas, poder y valor, Dios te dice, yo te guardo, yo te guardo, te Well, what another beautiful video. I of like course. that. We know, we know we bring the best videos here on Caribbean Focus You know Focus what? I, I think, too, that video was only five. It is only five days old. So, you know. It's a brand new video. Yeah, we tell yeah. you guys all the time. For this year, we're pumping it up and we're bringing you the best of everything. Exactly. So mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. Always stay locked with us. But you know what? Um, I think we have a little update. There's a little subject that I'd like us to talk about. Exactly. Viewers, it, affects, it affects the entire Caribbean. Right. Exactly. Uh, of course, we're going back to Haiti. You know, so much has been going on with that poor island you know they've know, struggled I for know. so many years and in recent, just celebrated day, in recent, their recent time all these activities that took place right and exactly. they just celebrated their independence and we just celebrated the aftermath of, of the, the, uh, uh, the one year anniversary of the, of, and of the earthquake the color, all of that yeah but what we're talking about is um that the return of, uh, of that, that dictator, exile uh, president jean-claude duvalier yes, also baby known doc. as baby, baby doc. doc exactly and, uh, that's 
It has caused quite a bit of chaos, and not just chaos, but concern because you know um, he was a dictator, and um, well, that's this. I mean, his return has has left a lot of questions in in the people's head because well, nobody you know, he knows why. He was in exile for like what 25, over twenty five years, years exactly. and. Uh, um, I mean, it's 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 really hits a nerve with a lot of you know Haitians and a lot of Caribbean you That's know American right. folks. Yes. And I think the question that they want to ask or find out is why now? Why, why is he back there? And also but, too, um, we just found out that he's been arrested by the uh, by the authorities there in Haiti, uh, and nobody knows what the charges are. So. Right. Well, the thing about it too that we should note is that. Um, what he is saying, you know, that he really wanted, you know, and this is what he said, and I'm coach and coach, you know, that he wanted to see, you know, what really happened right. with, you know, Haiti and, you know, since after the hurricane, so not well, the, the hurricane, the sorry, earthquake. the earthquake and, and all right. the disasters, mm -hmm. but to go back, you know, it really does touch a nerve with a lot of people. So many people are too young to remember. remember now, but mind you, even though he was a dictator, he has some supporters, so I mean, it's... You know, it's kind of controversial. It's kind of controversial up on this time. And, and you yeah, find you what, that yeah. you know yeah. you have some supporters, but you know, again, just saying, you know, after all the turmoil that Haiti's been going through, on and on, and even through the leadership of his we, dad, exactly. and then him taking over. You know, he was only nineteen when he took over and was doing like some really terrible things. Exactly. But, he, he, you know, he succeeded, really he succeeded his dad, on, exactly. So, but I tell you what, you know, I tell you what, um, uh, we're going to keep you keep guys posted. Locked, keep locked on exactly. the news, you know, know what's happening. And of course, we're going to try our best definitely to let you know what's going on. Uh, but don't let that bother you too much. Exactly. And, um, you we're gonna, know, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep you. We're gonna keep you guys update, up to date with all the all the latest That's information. Right. But I tell you what, so. we're moving on to our very last segment of the show, okay, which is already. focus on the issues. And uh, of course, you know, focus on the issues here. We got something that happened with a teenage pregnancy here in this country. Um, no, no, that's a very serious subject again. Exactly. So what do we have um, going on? Well, it, as you know, something happened uh, uh, that 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 high school in, in in Memphis, Tennessee, that had that uh, that all that pregnancy going on. Uh, ah, okay. So was I think that uh, took place um, uh, the high school in Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, I mean, this is crazy. A total of ninety students got pregnant. pregnant. That or were given birth control, and I mean, that's 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 unbelievable. I mean. I, let, let, what is going on? We we need something. We need people who are firm. We we need some stability in our society let, and with our kids. So let's see what let's see what let's see what we have to say here on CFTV. Okay. All right. Stay focused. We'll be right back. All right. Hello, viewers. Welcome to another segment on Focus on the Issues. I am Joseph Delva, and today our focus will be on teen pregnancy. Now, I do not know too much about teen pregnancy, but luckily I have a guest with me who's going to help me in the panel with this segment. And I'm going to let her introduce herself. Thank you. Hello to the viewers out there of Caribbean Focus TV. My name is Jamila. I'm so glad to be part of the CFTV uh, family. And I will be talking tonight about teen pregnancy because it is a very serious issue in our nation and in our communities. And we want to make sure that we're bringing those issues directly to you. Well, Jamila, welcome to our segment and welcome to CFTV. Thank you. Well, today we focus on teen pregnancy because of re because recently they had it had been on the news that in Memphis, Tennessee, if I believe it's um, Fraser High yes, School, Frasier. there are approximately ninety girls during the school year who's either pregnant right. or right. having a baby during the school year, yeah. and that brings an alarm to a lot of people to the community mm -hmm. to parents mm -hmm. because it's in such a high number yeah. what do you take on that what do you take on that well basically Jacques, um sorry basically um it is an alarming number um there are a lot of factors to, to consider when you're talking about a number this high okay. um 90 girls in any school who are pregnant um would send off alarms to counselors administration teachers um Primarily because you want to look at the factors that are surrounding these young ladies. Um, are they coming from families that are broken homes? Are they coming from families that are single parent homes? Are they coming from families where their mom is a teen parent, was a teen parent as well? Okay. Um, and specifically with Fraser High School, um, Fraser is considered to be a Title I school. Do you know what a Title I means? I have no idea what's a Title okay. I. And I'm well, lucky to have you here <laughs> to tell me what's a Title yes. I. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know what Title I, I'm sure you may have heard about 
um, Title I schools, just basically with a lot of things going on with education. A Title I school is actually a term used um, by the U.S. Department of Education um, when they're classifying schools that are at risk of failure or that are impoverished and have over 90 percent of poverty in the school. So this school is considered to be a Title I school and um, just simply because of the fact that you look at their lunch program and almost 100 percent of the students are on the lunch program. It shows okay. that there are a lot of things going on in that community. Wow. And so this is like probably one factor right. of you know the situation that's right. happened. And I believe like parents has a responsibility, the community, of I course. mean everyone has a responsibility to yeah. you know actually teach their teens right. about you know the responsibility and even the danger of, of having unprotected sex yeah. and um, I don't even think it's just for girls right. I, I think you know even the young men's like you know and the, the, the boys also need to learn that it's a responsibility to have a kid at such a young age because you still have your whole life ahead of you. Absolutely. Schools and, you know, your actually I think you should be concentrating on your books right. instead of, you know, having sex, mm -hmm. I mean, having unprotected right. sex for at that matter at such a young age. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's a good thing that you bring up the point that you make about boys and girls because a lot of times there's a lot of responsibility that's put on the girls. Um, in this situation specifically, they're talking about 90 of the girls. girls. Right. Yes. They don't talk about how many of the boys in the school are fathers. So, um, you know, that's one of the things that you have to think about when it comes to boys and girls in school. Are you making this okay for the boys? And then blaming the girls or shunning them, you know, because that's something that you want to consider as a parent, as an educator. As yes, well. I, I doubt if any of the, um, you know, concern people in the community are, you know, blaming one side or another. Mm -hmm. It's alarming that, I mean, 90, which made nearly 25% of the girls in the school mm -hmm. that are, you know, actually pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think this, it's, it's an issue for its parents. But then again, we're not counting the number of the of boys course, that exactly. got those girls pregnant. And I think just the fact yes. that they don't bring that up at all is something that you want to just take into consideration and make a note. I mean, just like the situation that happened with the girls who got pregnant but they, you know, they made this promise to get pregnant and that was all over the news. Once again, it's always the girls and, you know, there's just a lot yes. of highlights that are put on women in this situation and, or, or young ladies. Yeah. So that's, that's a really good point. Um, another thing that I want to point out is that um, one of the statistics that I got online is talking about how three in ten girls get pregnant by age 20. You know, wow. and that's a lot. That's 30 yes. percent, you know, getting number. pregnant um, by 20 years old. How early do you think it's too early to talk to your children about having sex? Actually, I don't even think it's 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 well, I, I was going to say never early. But at, yeah. at certain age, I think once your kids reach five years old, okay. I think that's the age is not telling them about sex, right. but letting them know the importance right. of the situation. Right. Actually, I think it's time for a commercial break. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be back with more questions on teens' pregnancy. So stay focused, viewers. Et mes bridges, 
Welcome back to our segment viewers and as promised we're gonna discuss who is responsible for you know all these teens all these kids getting pregnant at the school mm -hmm. and Jamila what can you tell us about who's responsible who should have done this who should have done that about this situation well I mean you know any parent would obviously um, think that something like this is a huge tragedy um, you know your 16 year old getting pregnant your 15 year old daughter getting pregnant that's a really big issue um, one of the things that I found is that the first thing people usually do is blame the schools how many times have you seen that I've seen that a lot oh my gosh but if the children <clears throat> if the children are watching too much TV it's the school if they're not speaking proper English it's the school if they're wearing their pants below their waist <laughs> it's, it's always the schools you, yeah, find, well, you find that the, well I, I find that actually funny I yeah. think it should be a whole community's job right. to raise our children I don't think it's just either just the parents or the school yeah. I think uncles need to get involved Absolutely. aunties yeah. I mean you know those who are a little more more educated in the you know family right. should actually help in raising our children right. actually I even think some of the children at school are raising our kids really yes so actually, you see the peer pressure yes from peer other pressure is friends. an issue yeah. actually when your kids go to school a lot of times they would listen, they would see other kids do certain things, mm -hmm. and they want to be part, they want to be involved, they don't want to be look like a nerd, for right. example, or excluded right. for that purpose. So, you know, I think it's it's a whole community. Yeah, you're right, and exactly um, that point was made before when talking about different things like the television yes. that these, uh, these teenagers are watching. Um, I know myself, I'm a big fan of the new teen parenting shows that are out okay. discussing young women's lives or following them as they've had babies, breaking up with their boyfriends and you know fell out with their parents. It's very intense and one of the things that you do see is that people are asking the question, do these type of shows encourage teen pregnancy? Um, I think in some way mm -hmm. it, it, it does not encourage teen pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I think they, their goal is not to encourage teen pregnancy, mm -hmm. to show how hard it is, mm -hmm. right. you know, to yeah. have a kid at such Absolutely. a young age. But sometimes, you know, kids would look at that and right. say, well, I can be on TV if right. I'm pregnant at that age. Right. So that creates you know, yeah. uh, is it really doing the work? Mm -hmm. You know, it's at the end, I've, I've, I haven't seen on the show where anyone talk about, you know, don't take this as you're going to be on TV. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just to show you how hard and difficult it is, yeah. you know, to raise a child at that age. Right. One of the things that I do like is that they do have a counselor who talks to the young girls about using protection. That's the first thing that he asks all the girls. Are you on birth control now? And surprisingly, a lot of the young women are not on birth control. Well, yeah. I understand the word birth control, mm -hmm. but me personally, mm -hmm. growing up as a teen, mm -hmm. I never believe in that birth control things. Mm -hmm. I believe in protected sex. Well, you know, condoms are considered to be birth control. Well, that's control. one, yeah. but right. being on a pill, because right. it's not just, you know, being pregnant. Right. There's a lot that can happen. It's a yeah. big responsibility having right. sex at well, that age. Do you think that um, you should put your child or your teenager on birth control? I mean, would that be something? I, I don't think you would be the one putting that child on birth control. Well, no, I, I mean, if your child came to you and said, you know, hey, dad, you know, I'm thinking about having sex and I wanted to know if you could take me to the doctor, you know, to get more information and to possibly get on some form of birth control. Do you think that that would be? Well, uh, let me tell you exactly what I would do in that okay. situation. I would put my teen in the car. You got your dad finger up. Actually, <laughs> actually, I would make that appointment, put my kids, my mm -hmm. daughter or my son in mm -hmm. that car. Mm -hmm. On the way to that hospital, mm -hmm. I would tell them, do not have unprotected sex. Okay. Always use, you something. know, alternative. Always mm -hmm. use something. Mm -hmm. I, 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 because me, I don't believe in just the pills. Yeah. Or, you know, take a shot to mm -hmm. protect you so you don't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. 
having sex is a big sex is a big responsibility. responsibility. Yes, it, it comes with a lot of you know emotions, and yes. baggage, and yes, cetera, and it, yeah. it could change your life yeah. forever. It yeah. changed you being have going out there having fun, right. you know, having to sit at home to take care of a little baby. Right. You have no money at of that course, age. Yeah. You, you don't have a so job. You're relying on your parents. You know, you, you yeah. know, you're relying on, you know, yeah. a lot of people to help you, asking people here. And probably a lot of time your boyfriend don't have a job. Of course. You know, course. it's like you take that responsibility and lay it on probably your parents or right. your friends. Right. And then plus, remember, a child is not something, you know, you can say, well, I'm going to leave you here for two hours. I'm mm -hmm. coming back. I'm going to go outside to clean the yard and yeah. come back in. Of course. It's a 24-hour job. Yeah, it is. Somebody has to be there. Yeah. The child doesn't care whether you have money, right. whether you're a teen, right. whether you're grown, whether you're young. Mm -hmm. The child needs to be taken care of. Right. It's well, you know, be taken and that's one of the things that I'm not sure if a lot of people really understand. A lot of times in these situations, you find that you have parents who may step in and take care of that child for that teen. And that really alleviates that teenager of that responsibility of having to go through this harsh road of raising a child to really understand this is hard and this isn't okay. Well, it, it as a parent, I think it's a good thing that, you know, you're trying to, you know, do mm -hmm. the best for your teenager. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. But mm -hmm. at the same time, you have to make the teenager understand their responsibility. Right. You know, it's not that I'm doing this so that you can go out there and you know get Have pregnant again <laughs> yes i'm doing this for you so that you can get an education right. so you can continue to be a teenager but believe me you have to limit it as a parent of course you can't just do everything for right. that baby you have to limit the amount of work you do for them you have to give them some responsibility okay all right and jamila thanks a lot for this segment on this panel actually Thank i've you. learned a lot from it i have two young girls good luck I mean, <laughs> 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 so, you know, I really appreciate the information that of you bring course. to our viewers. And I'll be back to bring more information in the future. Well, thank you. And remember, viewers, you're watching Caribbean Focus TV. And join us every Friday from 8 to 9 p.m. as we bring you more segment on Focus on the Issues. Again, I'm Joseph Delva. And, and I'm Jamila J. Jamila. And then we're going to say bye on this segment. Right. Stay focused. Sound Explosion Entertainment is a professional DJ service serving Metro Atlanta and its surrounding areas. We provide the most reliable and dependable service at affordable prices. Our goal is to provide the best service that exceeds customer satisfaction. Visit our website at www.soundexplosionent.com That's www.soundexplosionent.com Or call us at 404-910-4589 That's 404-910-4589 well, parents, we urge you, please talk to your kids about sex, you know, whatever it is, and uh, try to answer the questions. Do not shy away for, from it. Mm -hmm. it. You know, it is a very, very right. important topic, and I know a lot of us, you know, that taboo, we hold back, and we don't know how to address our kids, but please. But if you think you cannot approach your kids, or you just don't have that gut to talk about you it. You need some assistance, that yeah, is. Yeah, you, know, you know, go you know, to your church, churches, get some exactly. guidance, you know, from any uh, counselors, at school there are, anything there are, like there are that people, there so are professional people out there who's more than willing to help you guys you know uh, right. talk to uh, educate the kids about sex and and and, and protective uh, stuff that, that mm -hmm. definitely help them from t t so teenage let's, pregnancy let's please educate our kids and, and not just have them you know and we really do need everyone to take care of exactly. everyone you know kids are not just born but they need guidance and we're here you know to guide them and what is that it, saying it, that goes it takes a, it, t it says uh, it takes a, a, a village to raise a child and that's, and, and right. that's really, so that's really that. true i mean everyone so it's not one person it's just not mommy it's exactly. not just daddy it's not just the adopted it's everybody everybody so but anyways if you'd like to showcase your business on our show please call us at 1-866-919-CFTV mm -hmm. or we i mean we do offer very very affordable right. uh, uh commercial packages here on the show right. the, the prices are unbelievable <laughs> please visit our website at caribbeanfocustv.com as well for all your past shows uh, click on our archives the 2010 2011 shows That's right. the very newest show is going to be at the very bottom so you just scroll down and <laughs> it, it's and it, enjoy yourself exactly <laughs> you know all don't, we have. don't miss anything that we've done in the past all right it's time for the last video of this show that's right don't panic we'll be here next week again but you know we usually take it back in time just a little bit old school you guessed old it school. 
old school video time this week we are going to choose another one of my favorites and i know it's one of your favorites as well and this comes from um edwin yeri wood and uh, he hails from beautiful barbados but not only that i said barbados and some of y'all are like "Ooh." And I know you're excited <laughs> because we're sitting here and uh, our backdrop. No, we are not in the beautiful island of Grenada. You know that we are from Grenada, right? Also known as... The Spice Isle. Or the Isle of Spice. That's so, right. you know what? We just, you know, I know it's been well, really well, cold I tell, lately. I, I tell you we're what. defrosting and we're back in the Caribbean, but it's not about Grenada Hold today. On, let me say this now. <laughs> not, only be, not only because it's a Spice Isle or the Isle of Spice, that's where everything is nice. Everything is always nice <laughs> in the Isle of Spice. But anyway, guys, we got to take in this old school video. Edwin Yearwood, and it's called Weekend, because you know what? It's Friday, so Weekend. weekend. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's roll! Working all day, Monday to Friday. Hard work, no pay. Gotta do it anyway. Bills on the sky high. Makes you wonder what pressure wanna make you cry. You feel it getting by? That was Edwin Yearwood with Weekend right here on Caribbean Focus TV. And don't forget, guys, if you would like to, to send a request to us here in Caribbean on Focus old TV video? on an old school <laughs> video, please send your request to Caribbean, Caribbean Focus, Focus TV, TV at yeah. gmail.com or give us a call at 1 919 CFTV. All right. Well, viewers, we are at the end of the show, mm -hmm. and you know what comes next. Uh, this is where we leave you with, with uh, words of wisdom. That's right. Or, you know, encouraging words. And um, What thoughts do you have for us today? Actually, you can get, get some good stuff, as you actually, always do. Actually, I do. Um, I was doing a little reading, uh -huh. and um, I remember um, Dennis Waitley, he wrote this, and it says, or it goes, the greatest gifts you can give to your children are the roots of responsibility and the wings of independence. Isn't that beautiful? That's great. That's great. So I like that. That is the greatest gift. So give it to our kids. They come first. Stay tuned. Exactly. You know, and... Uh, well, yes. it's that time. Well, all good things must come to an end. And of, of course, course, Debbie is 
great hanging out with you again. As usual, it was a fantastic time. I exactly. enjoyed that time with you as yes, usual. Ma yes, ma'am. I can't wait to go to Rose's party later. But anyway, <laughs> we'll continue that drinking. But anyways, All right. anyways guys. guys, exactly. Go ahead. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh -huh. I am your host, Debbie. Again, just reminding you, you are looking at Caribbean Focus TV. Join us here each and every Friday right Oh, okay.